Hi and welcome. I'm Emilia and my channel name Harvinaisen Kaunis Elämä means uniquely beautiful life. And today, on this beautiful December day, Nightwish train stops at, you know, this train. <laughs> stops at Wacken station today. I have no idea in which order to listen to Nightwish songs, so I'm picking the songs I uh, like I always do according to interesting titles. And this sounds very interesting. Romanticide. The name sounds like a sharp plate. I have no idea what to expect expect so first reaction to romanticide walken 2013 <laughs> For sure, <laughs> this feels like a blade, just like I said. Floor, first floor, um, threw those high notes right at your face, ah, and her voice is so pure and flawless. It just, it feels like, like it's slicing. It's slicing right through the air and the lyrics <laughs> and the, uh, sorry, I'm again staring outside my window and trying to collect my thoughts from somewhere there from the <laughs> nature, bad habit, but you know, Empo, that, that is it a rip he plays? I'm so devastatingly poor with my terms. Sorry. Mm, it's it's really sharp and cutting in its own way. And, and also Yukka is beating drums in a very suitable way <laughs> to this song. I am not sure if I'm ready to continue. <laughs> This, <clears throat> this is some song here.
I was so stunned by Impulsoro that I, 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 I missed the opportunity to <laughs> stop. <laughs> that was Paganini on Wales. Please let me know in the comments uh, where to find more songs with Impulsoros. The longer, the better. Please, please, please. Also, I um. <clears throat> So Thomas um, taking care of his hydration at one point, a very sensible thing to do. This is an absurd song, but okay. Let's let's continue. This makes me dizzy. stupidity <laughs> this is a strange song angry and aggressive but um, it almost feel like 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 teasing or mocking like like a, there's humor in it uh, maybe it's it's the trust they all seem to have on stage for each other that makes it and the, the glint in their eyes probably this is a really bad breakup song. <laughs> a song or a song about a really bad breakup but but it could all, easily be also you know I could easily see myself in this song, you know, as a Finn. That's a Finn talking to themselves after doing something stupid, like failing or, or, or you know, playing a wrong note or finding yourself having a really bad writer's block. Ha! <laughs> this is... Ah, oh, yes, another different Nightwish song. to hear that again oh that glissando felt like this might might be the worst comparison in the history of the world but you know like uh letting the softest silk slide through your fingers. You know, um, smooth and flowing yet solid in a way, if that makes sense. With 
not a merest tint of discomfort, just pure luxury to senses. Okay, I get romanticized clearly, mm, but I want to hear that again. Sorry, overload <laughs> and a sharp blade. Ah, oh, that Ferrari engine empo never stopped. It was relentless. I got dizzy. <laughs> but maybe that was the point. The surreal feeling. How 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 was that line? Dead boy is alive but without sense. Dead boy is alive, but without sense. It really got through um, the suffocating, helpless, stuck feeling. Um, it's the same kind of angriness that was in yours in an empty hope. Only this was more, more personal. And about more personal, I wonder what Thomas meant by... I know I shouldn't take lyrics too seriously and... I understand, I think I understand it in it, in this context, but but still, um, and please don't hate me, but one line kicked me to my stomach like, like a plate. Uh, it was the, I needed near-death experience and I have had one. I didn't ask for it, or I needed it, it happened. Um, I stopped breathing and I saw death and heaven and, and God and myself down there on a Christmas night. With a newborn star, newborn star in my my arms, and uh, all I could think was, um, "I'm sorry." Hmm. Makes you think about the dead boy's poem. Anyway, I was given a choice: let go or go back. And I saw all that there was and I wanted to let go so bad and I also saw, saw my my baby girl and my boys and my husband and I couldn't do that to them and here I am and believe me it isn't always easy having seen what's on the other side so I didn't ask nor need a near-death experience it was given to me to carry every single day of my life. To remind me of my choice to stay. But also it reminds me of the greatest gift we all have, that is life. So this is a, a bit personal and um, I understand the context and I do also understand Someone one might need the extreme to be able to breathe free and 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 feel alive. But anyway, sorry, I got it got to maybe a bit too deep for our night with reaction. Sorry, it's me here. <laughs> but night wish does that to you, makes you think. Anyway. 
as someone who's been happily married for over 25 years this song isn't something um, I can personally relate to. Did I say no there? Did I say I can't? <laughs> but so I, I definitely wouldn't recommend this as a wedding song. But it was yet another impactful night with song. <laughs> they might exhaust you. They might make might make you cry. And mercy behold, they might even make you think, but they never, never, ever disappoint at surprising you. <laughs> oh, that was oh, that was a heavy song. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way through. Thank you.